it was just me and her living together when I was in college. She was my little sidekick when everywhere with me, so we're real close. When Jennifer Brown and her toy Australian Shepherd Stormy are not snuggling indoors. She has been the best dog. They're outside bonding over a game of fetch. She loves to play ball and she's a people person. This friendship started as a birthday present three years ago. She just came bouncing to us so we had to get her. But these games took a turn only a year later. She got real sick and couldn't hardly walk and would kind of fall over and didn't want to play ball and that's when we knew something was wrong. And a vet confirmed Stormy was anemic. She needed blood or she wasn't going to make it. I thought I've got to save her. I'm not going to know what to do. Miles away in Lubbock was the only option Stormy had left. A greyhound named Kylie. You hear about it in people but not animals. So it was kind of a shock to me that they did that. Kylie is one of four dogs Lynn Tiedemann has rescued. She was a victim in an animal cruelty case. But with love and pampering, hey. she recovered well enough to become a blood donor. You have to be at least, you know, 55, 60 pounds. So as long as all of she meets all the criteria, then she's good to go. As a member of a Lubbock Greyhound Rescue Group, Lynn knows one of this breed's unique qualities. About 70% of them have the same blood type that's and that's the most popular one that can be universally donated. Which means for the past six years, Kylie's blood has given the gift of life to vets like Blaine Odin. It's not something that happens every day, but it's something that when you need that blood, it's nice to have it. Odin says shelf blood only lasts a few days, but in emergencies, he needs it within hours. Sooner in some situations, but I'll call the owner of the dog, such as Lynn, and she'll bring her dog up here if she's available at that time. While a needle to Kylie's neck is the most difficult part. Never whimpered, never cried. That is to watch. I tell you, it is harder on me than it is on her. Once this bag is filled, she is pampered. They get really good high fat meal, something as a treat. It helps them too to recover. I think there's some motivation there, a selfish, but it worked out. So when they got a call about Stormy's last chance, Kylie was ready to step in. It's just a wonderful feeling to do to do the right thing. We were very thankful. While Kylie donated blood, Lynn also gave freely with words that stuck much longer than the needle. When you're able to actually meet them and talk to them and just maybe say a little prayer with them. Because out of the 20 times Kylie has donated, Lynn has learned a hard lesson. You know, not always a favorable outcome. But when Kylie's blood filled this tiny body. It brought the twinkle back into Stormy's eyes. You could tell pretty quick that she was back to normal. You know, they didn't want us to play too much for a while just to make sure. So thanks to time from a stranger, all Stormy has to worry about these days is her attention competition, Jennifer's newborn daughter. I'm glad that we were able to do that transfusion because we have her now and now my little girl can play with her and they'll be best friends like me and Stormy are. It's really a cool feeling. Ashlyn Tubbs. It really is. It's a neat feeling. KCBD News Channel 11. No, you drop it.